getting this bus past its initial inertia of being at rest certainly helps if you've got a big body. And OB with a very nice start here. He's only 33, which is pretty young for this sport. Definitely has time ahead of him to improve and stay in the game. Since qualifying for the final, his first World Strongest Man appearance in 2013, he's had to withdraw in two of the last three with injury. I like the nice metered steps that he's taking, those big powerful arms pulling on the rope. He really seems to be in sync here. Ooh, starting to wobble there towards the end, Brent. Let's go the rope, now he's on all <laughs> fours. What an effort by the American. Robert Oberst crawls across the line, pulling a bus. OB was just so blown out there at the end, but a time of 39.46. Robert Oberst. He's got to feel pretty happy about that. There's no questioning OB's effort. He's willing to do whatever it takes, even crawling on all fours to get that bus across the line. The native of New Braunfels, Texas, they are going to be proud of him. Representing Great Britain. Luke, Luke Stolman, Stolman of Great Britain, the co-leader after three events. Ready! He's another guy that's part of that four-way tie entering the event. 39.46 seconds is the time to beat, so keep that in the back of your mind here. Stoltman looking really good early. I like his physique. He's tight and compact, kind of like a pit bull. Listen to his breathing, Brent. That is a hugely important element of this event. It's staccato-like, in fact, as he pulls it down the course. Trying to find his rhythm here. Well, oxygen is the fuel for the muscles, and you see his grip is starting to wane. He's really feeling the immense effort that it takes to pull this bus, but he's going to get it across the line in a time of 41.49. Not too bad and not far off of that time to beat. So he goes into second, Luke Stoltman. right here in the bus pull, Luke Stoltman of Great Britain. You could tell he was kind of getting tired standing up towards the end, but with the lactic acid building up over the 30 meter course, it's not easy to keep those arms and legs going, but that's exactly what Stoltman was able to do. The festivities began with Dennis Kolras of Germany, and towards the end there, and you're going to see him let go of the rope and keep on going. Brent, we don't need no stinking rope. <laughs> he just pulls with his body weight, completing the course in 42.66. Outstanding effort, if nothing else, for the big German. Manila, the capital city of the Philippines and its center of commerce, arts, and culture for over four centuries. In its Intramuros historic district, Fort Santiago, a monument to this great city's legacy. 